Okay guys, today we are doing something a little different. I actually have a friend coming to my house to look at her car. In fact, she might be pulling up now. Um, I I um, actually messaged, messaged her, is that a word? Message? Yes. Messaged? I messaged her on Facebook. Actually, I saw her make a comment in my timeline that said that she had a check engine light on and needed to know where to take it, and she's my neighbor, so how cool is that? Um, so, to you guys, I have a Facebook uh, page now that you guys can follow what I'm doing, and then I guess it's time to promote the new website. Uh, it is now up and running. I have a forum that you guys need to check out. I have a lot of great people on there already. My old forum is now closed and this new platform is open and has a lot more features. Um, so definitely go to my website, check it out. It's www.scannerdanner.com and I have, uh, I'm actually moving all of my videos, my playlists, um, descriptions of my videos over onto the website as well. So spend some time there and check it out. Um, the vehicle we're working on, I have no idea. We're just gonna do this kind of live. I'm hoping it's just a quick read of the code and, and give her advice and you know, this may not be the normal detailed uh, video, but this will be beneficial for all of you watching. Uh, I'm sure you can pick something up. So let's go to the car, see what we have. Okay guys, my friend Darlene is here and we are at my house and we're working on a 2012 Dodge caliper and um, she did mention that maybe maybe the gas cap was not put on correctly we're not sure uh, we'll see what codes we have if we have an evap leak code this is nice and quick we'll just clear the codes and get her out of here so that's what we're hoping for let's see what we got it's kind of cool I went on Facebook I think I said this um, went on Facebook started a Facebook account to promote my my channel my website and everything and uh, you know, to meet a, an old friend on there that needs help with a check engine light and, and be able to help her is just awesome. So, it's pretty cool that I'm able to do this. EVAP purge system performance. It's 441 fault. Uh, that definitely could be from leaving the gas cap loose. Let's get a, what we need is some help with this code, this 441 code. And I'm not connected to the internet so let me get a description for this now this is something you will not get from a generic scan tool so let me read this to you uh, purge monitor test the integrity of the hose tube between the throttle body intake and the fuel tank yeah this looks like definitely something a loose gas cap could do um, code set conditions the PCM detects that the purge vapor ratio on the ESM switch closed ratio or below a calculated value. The PCM commands the purge cylinder to flow at a specified rate to update the purge vapor ratio. If the ratio remains a below a specified value, a trip failure is recorded. Okay, so possible causes. EVAP purge solenoid vacuum supply, EVAP purge hose obstruction, EVAP purge solenoid. Um, let's see, I'm going to read back up here, uh, the monitor will be enabled under either a small leak test or it will run during a large leak test. This is when small leak test is not passed. During a small leak test, the monitor fir will first evaluate the delta pressure on the fuel tank while normal purge control is active. If the monitor does not pass, Within a calibrated amount of time, then an intrusive monitor will be enabled. This intrusive monitor will ramp in the purge flow to a target amount while evaluating delta pressure. Yeah, this doesn't look like uh, loose gas cap type stuff to me. If the delta pressure between the purge off and purge on exceeds a calibrated amount, then the monitor will ramp out the purge flow and evaluate the delta pressure between the high flow and new low flow target okay this yeah and the causes are vacuum supply hose restriction or the solenoid itself this looks like it could be a it could be a um, 
purred solenoid problem. There's actually a test they're giving me here. What is the test? Test must be performed. Key on, engine run. So let's start the car. Alright, so I can command it and I can watch purge flow, purge mode. Does it give me the tank pressure really is what I'd like to see here. Well, let's do the flow and see what happens. Yeah, short term fuel trim went way minus there too. So, let's do that again. It looked like that test worked. So what looks like what we're gonna do, yeah, watch our short-term adaptive memory right here. So this guy that's like at nine, nine to 12%. So we'll graph that one. And watch, let's see what else. Purge duty cycle, it's actually on right now. It's purging a little bit. I want to control this, hit flow. So it went to 64%. See how negative this is going? That means that purge valve is taking fuel from the uh, charcoal canister right now. It is actually working. Uh, wouldn't let me turn that off. So what that means right now, guys, is this fault is not present. This purge valve is working the way it's supposed to. These are known for purge valve problems. Let's try the flow again. Yeah, it's definitely working. See the fuel trim go very negative. So there's nothing wrong with the supply hose. There's nothing wrong with the um, purge valve. Um, I, she mentioned her gas cap. Even though that code doesn't say it, I think what I'm going to do for her, I'm going to clear these fault codes out. Uh, this is not something that's going to leave her stranded or be a safety issue. And I'll let her drive it for a couple days and we'll see what happens. If uh, you guys want more information and training on solenoids and computer controlled devices as well as fuel trim and the information that I was talking about, I'll post some links in the description of this video for um, understanding short term and long term fuel trim and then a few others on identifying and testing solenoids. So what is our takeaway from this? Um, what you guys just witnessed was the uh, scan tool that I was using, I have what's known as a, a bi-directional control. So I can take this scan tool and I can tell the engine computer to energize components. And in this case, what I did is I took the scan tool and I commanded that purge solenoid to turn on. We saw a reaction of data. I saw RPMs change. Uh, I saw an amperage reading on the scan tool, which was cool. Uh, for the solenoid. I also saw that fuel trim go very negative and that told me that the valve is working. And uh, so there was really no other checks I needed to do. Today, everything looked good. So uh, I asked her again about the gas cap and she did mention that a friend put gas in it on Friday, which was uh, three days ago. It took a day or two for the check engine light to come on and when she checked the gas cap, she did mention she tried to tighten it first before she pulled it off and it did move a little bit before it clicked. So uh, even though a loose gas cap wasn't listed as one of the po uh, possible causes, uh, I think the it was definitely worth checking the gas cap again. I did, it was tight and I cleared the fold codes, let her take it and we'll go from there. So uh, again, if you guys have any questions about any, any of the procedures that I've, I've shown, you can uh, look in the description of this video or go to my forum, post on there, be more than happy to answer uh, any questions you have. So again, that forum is www.scannerdanner.com. Alright, hopefully I'll see you guys over there. Have a great day.